So this is my live well that version two. It's really ugly here. It has uh, the original piece in here wasn't long enough, so I just shoved the hose through. And then I marine gooped it here and marine gooped it here. Runs to a 12 volt battery here. And um, the one side can close and eventually both sides. So what really happens here is we have this venturi effect happening here if I plug the hole you'll see that the bubble stop the bubble will stop and uh, see how much bubbles comes out after I actually release it it's quite a bit quite a bit so that's pretty nice and I'll show you the pieces that I used. Now this thing was found at Lowe's for about 10 cents a piece and as the water goes here and exits on the far end it creates a vacuum here for the air to come in with it creating these bubbles. So essentially what I did was I have this 90 degree bend which is a smaller one um, I don't remember what the size change is, but it fits this three-quarter hose, I believe. And it almost fits in here, but I had to sand around the edge a little bit, and I have a bearing press, which I just pretty much pressed it in to the neck right there. And that's what you see in the water there. So, um, it's pretty cool. Adds a lot of oxygen, and um, you can close the lid. And there's a little bit of a gap in there. So, I'm about to bring you underwater and show you the bubbles underwater. It's pretty efficient at making bubbles. I believe that um, this will be pretty good. It should be able to support some fish in the live well. You know, five largemouth bass will be kind of a stretch, but I think they'll be able to survive with the proper cooling of the water. So uh, we'll try this out. <laughs> 